Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Buff Geek, you're joined by... What up guys, it's me, I am back. Yes you are, and we've decided to try and blast this one out in about a half hour, yeah. because of David's bladder. Yes, my bladder, my my eyelids as well. And your, 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 your work-life balance. That's the one. And today we're going to be talking about movie news. Yeah, it's been an eventful week this week. There's been loads of stuff happening this week, and do you know what, we've not managed to do one the last few weeks for various, basically just work-wife reasons getting in the way and... Yep. time getting away from us but i didn't feel like there was a whole bunch of stuff that happened and this week seems like there's loads of stuff that's happened yeah, so we are going to get right into that in a second but unfortunately the first part of movie news does suck quite a bit and it has kind of dominated the the movie news for for the right and wrong reasons yeah this week it has you yeah. don't want news like this dominating but at least it's been given the time it deserves kind of thing and it does raise some questions about safety and a whole bunch of other things because occasionally this happens and if you're if you're up on the movie news like uh, we are and if you're listening to this you probably do know what we're about to talk about. It's the fact that um, S.J. Harris, a stunt woman on the set of Deadpool 2, fortunately had an accident this past week and has um, passed away. So that's currently being investigated into and... I think we should just take a wee second here to pay our respects to this lovely person. Okay, and we're back. And this is kind of connected in a way because it's something else that happened on set this week. But um, Tom Cruise injured himself on the set of Mission Impossible 6. I, I heard this. Um, just the, the top headline, Tom Cruise got injured. I don't know what happened. Right, well, basically he, he he was jumping off a building, I believe, and he's injured his ankle. Oh, right, okay. And it means that Mission Impossible 6 will have to stop shooting for nine, nine, weeks. nine weeks as a minimum. Min- minimum nine weeks, that's... That's that a lot of time, lot, right? Yeah. Um, and the funny thing is, I can't remember who brought it up, but... Someone said to me that Mission Impossible 5 was brought forward by three months. And I was like, oh yeah, so it was. It came out in the summer, a couple of years ago, I think 2015. And it was meant to come out in the October, but they brought it forward. So the, the fact that this one might be pushed back by three months mm-hmm. kind of evens out their, their um, <laughs> well, efficiency true. in a way. It could also lead to problems filming the long-awaited sequel to it Top Gun, though. Could have a knock-on v- impact. V- on. What, what's three months added on to 30 years, though? <laughs> what, what, what is that in percentage? What, point zero three percent Well, it's, it would be July 2019 um, that Top Gun Maverick was scheduled to be released. Right. So it might just be September 2019. Because so. he's at that kind of stage where a film like that would wait for him. Whereas other actors it might just say, oh, we're going to have to recast, we've got a schedule to keep. Do you think they would though? I don't know, it depends on the, the level of the actor to be honest. Not with Tom Cruise obviously, I mean no, they're waiting for him. That's what I'm saying, with Tom Cruise yeah. it would be, oh we'll, we'll delay it all, we've got Tom fucking Cruise on this film. Exactly. Yeah. Allegedly a young man. Yes, he was. Or so he was called in The Mummy, someone told me, and I was like, what? The guy's like 50. But no, he made a right Ethan Hunt of that st- stun, didn't he? Yes, he, he did. Can. He did make a right Ethan Hunt, bust up his ankle, and um, yeah, that kind of sucks. But yep. didn't we say a, maybe like 10, 20 podcasts ago, which isn't that much because we've done so bastard many of them, <laughs> <laughs> that we're surprised he's never had a big, big accident? That he does all these stunts. Well, so when we were talking true. about, there's been a lot of occasions where he's come close. I think he's come close on a few. He came close. I think on Mission Impossible Two, he almost fell like up. fell off the rock face. Well, when he was hanging on by one arm, the crew were crapping it because they're like, if he drops, we've just killed Tom Cruise. I know, right? Because he he wanted to do that rock climbing stunt. I mean, what an absolute madman! But also at the same time, what a badass. Yeah. So I suppose we want to say, get well soon, Tom. Do we? I do. I like right. Tom Cruise as an actor. You go for it then. Um, okay, I want to say get well soon, Tom. Yep. Um, I'm also available for work. <laughs> <laughs> You're too tall to play some. 
But I would shave my moustache off, unlike Henry Cavill. <laughs> so, you know what, I, I could come and just replace that character, whatever you want, I, I, I'll, I'll do it. Oh no, no, they want the moustache for it. It's Justice League that want him to shave the moustache off. Ah, right, okay. So they're going to have to CGI his moustache. I can't remember how it, how it worked. I read, this happened a couple of weeks ago in movie news, and they were talking about um, Henry Cavill's tash. And they were like, Oh yeah, he'd have to shave it off to go back and do the reshoots for Justice League. Which means they'd have to CGI his moustache on for Mission Impossible 2. Mission Impossible 6, sorry. And the company that owns the rights to Mission Impossible 6 were like, nah, fuck you, he's keeping the tash. Mm. You can CGI it out. So he's actually going to be filming... I want to see him as as, as Superman with a big stinking 80s tash. <laughs> I think it's going to look gorgeous. But that brings us very nicely to our segue... And our section of DC and Marvel movie news. Ah, yes. And I'm not sure which one to go with first. Should well, we go with the Casey Affleck thing or talk think, about unwatchabilities? I think, yeah. DC are that kind of... They're almost becoming like that family member. You know, you're at a family gathering and nobody gives them attention for a while. So they sit and light out a burp. <laughs> just to get a bit of attention again and get you to look back at them. I'm realising that I'm, si- I'm sitting much closer to the mic than you are. No, it's fine. That's yeah, no bother. I don't want to sit too close to you anyway. Okay. Um, but th- 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 they're kind of like, nothing's happened in a while. What can we do to get people talking about us again? I know. Ben, go and sneak to Casey that you're not doing Batman. And then everyone's talking about Batman and we're at the top of the comments again. Yeah, and it means that Ben Affleck's reps then get a chance to respond to what Casey Affleck said, which has just come in. So. Oh, really? Yeah, just hot off the press. It's just literally came in. And what is Ben Affleck's reps saying? Well, let's tell um, everybody what oh, Casey Affleck's point. saying first. Yeah, that's a very good... Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just got a little bit excited there, folks. A little bit excited. So Casey Affleck was being interviewed, uh, I think, today. With WEEI's Dale and Holly with Keith Radio Show. It was on Tuesday. Ah, it was on Tuesday. Excellent. So he basically said something like, oh, he, was shite, him? he was a shite Batman. And yeah, then, he said, you know, I thought he was an okay Batman. And then he says, no, he was great. He was great. He's a hero. So he had something to channel and work with there. But he's not going to do that movie. I, I don't think. Sorry to say, is what he said. And he also said after that, sorry, is that is that news? Breaking news. Breaking I'm news. Just, and then he says, I'm just kind of making that up. What the fuck is he doing? Like... If you're Did I say I'm just making that up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, uh, where is that? Is that breaking news? Because I was just kind of making that up. I don't know. So What a weird thing to say. This reminded me of Hakeem Phoenix when he was doing that whole weird guy character. character. Yeah. It's kind of, when you're an Oscar winning actor in this case. Oh yeah, good point. You know, and you're on an interview and you say something like this. He's not exactly going, oh, bit of banter, lad, say, hey, you know, this won't go anywhere, this is just us. It's it's going to go viral. Like, if you said, oh, he was shite as Batman, he's not even doing the next one, mm-hmm. wink, wink, nudge, nudge, then that would have been quality. However, Ben Affleck's reps have confirmed that it's not truthful, as some had assumed, and they basically said he'll continue to be Batman as long as the studio will have him. Does that refute his statement completely or I don't know it doesn't it's that's ambigu- ambiguous that's reason. ambiguity it's massive so that's basically saying like so if he isn't if, if if he isn't the Batman in the Matt Reeves Batman Batman films then he can just go back to the statement and say well I wanted to be it but the, st- the studio the didn't studio want me anymore have me. Yeah, so exactly. that's it I didn't lie to anybody but I wasn't allowed to say anything mm-hmm. because they were worried that it would affect Justice League yeah. I mean, do you think Justice League will come out and the next day it'll turn out that Be- that Ben Affleck is not Batman? I'm still, I'll still be amazed if Justice League comes out. Really? <laughs> you don't D- think it's coming out? Oh, DC and Warner are just like bad news, bad news, bad news. You know what? They just, I think. Do you know what? For being such a, a massive company, well having done. so much money, everything, being around for so long, they seem like the most unprofessional useless bunch of fucks yeah ever. it's, it's... I, I'm just saying Warner that um, also I wouldn't, I'm wouldn't. i open for work and uh, this is just for entertainment purposes me slagging you off and trying to get a rise out of the fanboys so um, yeah anyway back to back to movie news I still think you're shit <laughs> me or them <laughs> <laughs> it's ambiguous <laughs> it's ambiguous folks it's all ambiguous Right, well, so Casey Affleck says Ben's not 
maybe going to be Batman, and then he's like, psych, but not really, mm. I don't really even know how to do, like, banner. And then we've just covered that bit. But at the start of the week, Ben Affleck was calling Justice League an interesting movie by two directors, and within his quote, he says the lines, they have unique visions and different takes. Yeah, that's, that's like when... Um... So you've, you've basically got, got two like two kids that aren't all there, and you're like, "Oh, they're unique." <laughs> mm. it, yeah. Like, what are you meant to think of that? that can you bring up the whole statement that, uh, that Ben Affleck made about the Justice League? Because Zack Snyder has got a very distinct style, and Joss Whedon has got a very distinct style. So Joss Whedon comes in, and they've got massive reshoots. I know who's I prefer. They're they're not just doing pickups. They've already spent in excess of thirty million on pickups on on what they're calling pickups, but it's blatantly reshoots. Yep. Um, they are, and thirty million on Justice League is not it's 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 a lot of money, but it's not that much. I think that their reshoots are going to go up to about fifty, maybe more, mm. and they're meant to last for three full months. But I feel like they're going to last longer. Yeah, so what he's saying is um, it's a little bit unorthodox. Zack had his family tragedy and stepped off, which was horrible. For the movie, the best person we could have possibly found was Joss. We got really lucky that he stepped in and he basically described Justice League, like you're saying, as an interesting product of two directors, both with kind of unique visions, both with really strong takes and retakes and retakes. No, he didn't say that. I've never had that experience before making a movie. I have to say, I really love working with Zach, and I really love the stuff we've done with Joss. In other words, he hates Joss, but he loves the stuff he's done with him. He's like, I love working with Zach, who does shite stuff, and I love the stuff we've done with Joss, who's an asshole. <laughs> that's how I read it. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. <laughs> so I like Zach because he's my pal. Aye. But maybe he's a bit shit. Yeah. But Joss Whedon, Joss, maybe it's because Zach listens to all Ben's ideas. Maybe. And Joss is like, nope. Nope. I made Avengers, motherfucker. I made one of the biggest films of the entire... of our lifetime. Yep. It's like the... the I made Buffy, motherfucker. This is also true. I made Serenity. Yes. So, that was that. That's a... So... What do we think about all this? Well, again... You just feel so, like, little confidence in this film. Do you think it's going to come out in November like it's meant to? No. Nah, pushback? Nah. Yeah, it'll be pushback. Fucking hell. It'll be a Christmas release. It'll be the one... You think? Against Star Wars and Marvel? If, if they're not smart, yes. They want to get November because they want to get between Thor and Star Wars Marvel, but... It's not happening, eh? Who knows? It's Did going they... to be January before they can release this. I mean, seriously, is this project... Somebody at some point needs to say, look, you're fucking... Grayscale's just too far advanced. We need to just let you go now. I see. I don't think it, they need to pull the plug. I just think it's a really bad run of luck. It, it is, but there's only so far you can get blame bad luck before it starts to become yes, but bad leadership, bad direction, bad. We are in the business of movie news. Yes, we've also been in the business of making film or making theatre to a certain degree. Yep. Right? So we are really into this stuff. Yep. And so are the people that are listening to this podcast. Yep. Do you think that the casual movie goer even knows about this shit? I think no. if they, I think if someone is breaking into movie news or trying to learn a bit more about the movie industry, right now, this is what they'll be unearthing. This will be their first interactions with how studios work and how films are made. But that's it the one percent. It doesn't set a good impression, though. No, it doesn't. But like, does your partner think your partner knows anything about this? No, no. But then she barely knows about what's going on in American politics and okay, British politics and British events and things like that. So it's ba- a bad ba- example. Bad example. My partner isn't actually that interested in politics either, strangely enough. <laughs> but also doesn't know about this kind of stuff. But I train a lot of diverse people via Alpha Fitness. So, they they know about they know about politics. They know about this. They know about that. 
Stop it, stop it, stop it's it. It's like a game of fucking operation. He's trying to get some mints. And they don't know about these things. Like they they'll be like Yelsey Justice League, Yelsey Spider Man, Yelsey this, Yelsey that, but they When's don't it coming know. out, bitch. Well, Mm. So, well, you never know. They might manage to squeeze it all in. As in time. far as they know, they they don't know it's coming out until the trailers start. That's and, true. And the trailers haven't said November that much. But have you like ever, they've not ramped up yet. Have you ever heard someone saying, like Chris Evans isn't going to be Captain America in the next film, or Captain America three's being disbanded, or? Actually, I have heard them talk about that a little bit. Really? I have had some people say, like, oh, he's, he's saying, still going to be Captain America. I've heard them saying, like, they've only got so, like, nine movie contracts or whatever, and then we'll see where it goes from there. But that's from the start. You know, that's set out at the beginning. It isn't, oh, it's happening this week, oh, he is the Batman, oh, he's not the Batman, oh, he, he's writing the script for Captain America, oh, no, they've, they've scrapped his script, someone else is writing it now. It's been none of that. Yeah, it's been none of that, but the, the thing is, is that people aren't, the general populace aren't talking about that they don't know about these things so almost it's interesting to us but they don't know and they're the ones that make up the big money like justice league when it comes out even it's fucking wanks will be amazing in terms of how much money it's going to make Mm -hmm. it will make a lot of money so i don't as much as there are definitely problems you can't say pull the plug because all the kids are still going to turn up when they're meant to turn up all the all the adults are still going to take them, and they're still going to make a ton of money. It's going to be. It's going to probably beat Wonder Woman. Yeah, I would think it should. It and sh- I, I don't mean it should, in the sense of Wonder Woman specifically, but it should be any standalone movie. Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. So, as much as it does sound to us like there's problems, to the average person, there's no problems. Well, we'll see. So we'll see when the when the numbers come up on opening weekend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, or I mean, if they if they start promoting it and they're like, it's coming out in November fifteenth or whatever. Let's say fifteenth, right? And then like two weeks before, and they pull the plug. That's when, that's when the regular folks notice. Yeah. But I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, <laughs> it might <laughs> with it being DC. Yeah. Anyway, moving on from DC. We've got a few trailers to watch. Yeah. From the I've just, Marvel I've just side. Seen that, yeah. So we're gonna watch the Thor Ragnarok international trailer that reveals a certain someone and then come right back to you. So took it up Yes, we just watched the international trailer and it's pretty fucking sweet. I, I tell you. Considering I find Thor and Thor 2 two of the sort of weakest MCU films. Well, you didn't even watch them for the MCU movie review series. Yes, well, I still watched Thor in four minutes and Thor 2 in four minutes. I have not missed anything, ever. That's in the because, past. Because I make shit happen. Yep. I show up. I achieve my goals. you got to put your behind in your past. Okay? Put your behind in my path. Get your red panties out of my face. Woo! That was awesome. That was just... How good is that theme tune? Yeah, I'm loving the music. That's, um... I'm sure that was Magic Sword. But I was going to say it's Velvet. It's, uh... No, I can't remember the name of the thing because I don't remember the names of things. <laughs> Sweet trailer. Doctor Strange is in it. It's, yes. It's, uh... There's only one problem with Thor Ragnar... Oh, Kate Blanchett. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. But... There's one problem with Thor Ragnarok. What's that? His fucking haircut. You know, I like it. It just looks stupid. He doesn't look like Thor. It doesn't make no sense. Well, he get he gets his head shaved by the people who... He gets shaved as a warrior, basically, by the people who put him into that arena. So why hasn't he got a skinhead? Well, they just give him a crew cut. He's got long hair to start with. Yeah, but that's what I mean. They wouldn't just give him a crew cut. They just fucking buzz it it's all probably off. Probably easier. Instead of putting these lines in. They probably tried putting the helmet on and stuff like that and be like, no, this is fucking impossible with this wig. Let's rip your hair off. So is your... that a wig? The whole time? Yeah, he's got short hair. That's his normal hair. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Yeah, my hair's more gorgeous than Thor's. I <laughs> feel. His is Thorgeous. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that was awesome. But I'm covered that. in brains. Because the muscle, the brain is a muscle, so therefore yeah, I've got yeah, all these muscles. Yeah, therefore, I'm covering. He's, he's pretty ripped as well. 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd still fight him. Though. I'd love to see some of them arm wrestle, though. I'd love to see him arm wrestle Chris Evans. I think it would be quite a close contest. You're like, arm wrestling is just not a measure of strength in the slightest. It's all about technique. Pretty much. Also, they are puny men. <laughs> They're only big in pictures. Okay. Yes. Are you in the pictures? No. Well then, shut up. <laughs> so yeah. You I like get... it, but I think he looks weird with the haircut. It doesn't look like Thor. It just it just looks weird. It's still cool though. Seeing Loki in there as well, and you see him fighting for the good guys. So that shows how bad Hela is if Loki's fighting for the good guys. Because Loki fights for himself, and that is it. It's a bad time when Loki is a is a face. Yeah, if, if, he, if, he's, <laughs> if he's on your team, you know things are dire. Yeah. Or uh, you're a baddie. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Hey. Or I'm evil. Or I'm, <laughs> I wonder if Thor's sitting there going, I'm, I'm on the same side as Loki. Am I evil? That would be brilliant if he asked Hulk Hulk not Chitauri. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. We should be writers for that thing. <laughs> oh, you know dear. what I said? We, when you just made all that yourself? Yeah, so I'll, I see what's happening. You see what's happening. Nice. All right, so we've also got another trailer to watch. Have we? Have we yeah, we do. Out? We've got the Defenders. Defenders of the Earth Defenders. Yeah. See, that's my Defenders. Although I have got, I've got to admit it, I have become hyped to I watch. I cannot wait. And I'm really busy this weekend, so I'm never going to see it. Are you not? <laughs> no. I no cannot way. wait for tomorrow. Right, let's go watch it. Wait, it drops well, tomorrow? Well, it could be today. Um, oh my God, so it might drop in an hour's time? Yes. So I might actually be watching it tonight? Possibly. Oh, sweet. I might actually get to... I might preempt you all. Hurry up and pause. Oh, yeah, we're pausing. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Oh, wrong almost pressed the wrong button. Okay, what do you think of the Defenders trailer? I cannot wait. We get this wrapped up. I get home in time to watch the first episode, hopefully. You reckon? Nah, I'm going straight to sleep. Yeah, I'll probably step and watch it. Yeah. Because I... Don't have to get up early like you do. <laughs> because I don't have a real job. Because I'm not a fully fledged adult. Oh my god, did you just play sound during the podcast? That's, that, that's not going to appear We're on YouTube now. We're never getting on YouTube now. That's Fucked it. it. Fucked so, it. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Um, yeah, that scene where Iron Fist punched the sword. It's everything Iron Fist does is fucking shit. Right, I tell you. Like, tell tell you. me about the rest of the season, because I got to episode season, six and it was fucking wank. Basically, what happens is he... Uh, I can't even remember now. Um, <laughs> it was that so, fucking no, boring. it was actually really good. It got so good. Um, so, I'm trying to think. What's her face? Uh, Colleen, her sensei, turns up. He teaches Danny that Danny can heal people with his fist as well, with his chi by opening the fist. Um, turns out he's a baddie, which is not surprising. He then removes Danny's powers, um, all sorts of stuff. Ward kills his dad. Oh, straight up. Ward stabs his dad to death, takes him, buries him. Because uh, who is his dad scared of? The hand, Madam Gao. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, Bakuto, Colin Sensei, helps wait, them. Wait, no, wait, no. She's Madame Gao's part of the hand. I thought the hand was Japanese and Madame Gao was Chinese. Oh, she's she's the one of the leaders of the hand. She's in Daredevil as well. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I thought she was she was Chinese. Well, I think, I don't know the, the where the hand are from then. I thought they were Chinese as well. I thought they were Japanese. I have no idea. Because they're, yeah, anyway. So anyway, yeah, um, lots of, the second half of the season is actually really good. The first half kind of sets up for it, and the second half is really good. Um, the first I think half could have been done in one episode. Probably. I think standout, one of the standout actors for me, well, two of them, is one is Jessica Hennick, who was Colleen. She's yes, Colleen. Uh, the girl with the dojo. Right, okay. And the guy who plays Ward. He goes Ward through, was good. He goes through one hell of a journey in the second half of the season. Is he a child actor? Was he a child actor? I don't actor? know. I seem to recognise him and I feel like... I don't know, because at first he comes across quite wooden and stiff, but he does go through quite a... I, I really enjoyed Iron Fist and I'm looking forward to seeing... Really? All four of them together. Yeah. Fuck. So I watched all the shit ones. Yeah, basically. So is it kind of the, the reverse of Luke Cage? Because Luke Cage, the first yes. six were amazing, and then yeah. something happened. So if and you watch Luke shit. Cage, you watch the first half of Luke Cage and the second half of Iron Fist, you're you're gold. You know you're there. <laughs> right. So. Fuck. Well, it's too late now for me to do anything about that. Yep. That is a shame. And there was one other bit of Marvel movie news that came up, and it was kind of, I think it said in jest a little bit. 
some people are saying that it said out of frustration. I'm not sure. Let's see what you think. Samuel Jackson said recently that he will not be a part of Infinity War, Avengers 4, or Black Panther. And he said something like, what's the deal with that? And he also said something about, surely I should be in Black Panther because, well, I'm black. Which makes me think, well, that's a really stupid reason. And do we need to bring that up again? Like, you don't get a... So, I, I, do you know what? I should be in Avengers 4 because I'm white. That's fair and so should you. If he's if he is actually really annoyed about this, where was he in Civil War? Well, allegedly he wasn't in Civil War because whoever was... Was it the Russos? Mm-hmm. The Russos didn't want him to have to choose a side. Which is fair enough, but he should still have been in there in some form even if it was just he was retired with... and hiding out yeah exactly so why would he then come out of it for Infinity War Avengers 4 or Black Panther makes no sense right he's gone I think I think Nick Fury should be done if he was going to be involved he should have been in Civil War even if it was just to argue with Thunderbolt Ross that the Sokovia Accords are wrong overall that's not picking a side that's saying forcing them to pick sides is wrong Listen here, Nicholas, you're not part of the administration anymore. S.H.I.E.L.D. no longer exists. You know, something like that. And Nick yeah, Fury's he, like, ah, he, fuck. even then, but just to show he's passionate about splitting up the superheroes or he can see what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've made a grave mistake. This well, is he's going to be in Captain Marvel. Is he? Yeah, Captain Marvel is set in the 90s. That's right, so it's going With back. the Skrulls, mm-hmm. which means that I've, that I've heard some stuff about... Secret Invasion. Secret Evasion and Infinity War, you're going to find out that someone's actually a Skrull, mm. which I actually hate the idea of. Of someone that we've grown attached to actually being a Skrull the whole time. Yeah. Hawkeye the new... But I think it's Hawkeye. Yeah. It's got to be Hawkeye, mm-hmm. right? Because he's the only one that would make me go, oh, mm-hmm. and he made a life and he's a decent guy. Yeah. But if and it was his Cap... Ki- his kids are Skrulls too. Yeah, but if it was Cap... And that would make sense for him living out in the country and being away from everyone. But Cap was around before the Skrulls. Oh yeah, but so okay, that's fine. And so Thor's from Asgard. And so it can't be, and it can't be Banner because that would just be too weird. Yeah. And it can't be Tony Stark. Scarlet Witch, Scarlet, uh, uh, Black Widow. Could be Widow. Could be Witch. I doubt it. But she could have engineered. It just seems like it would make it awfully complicated for anyone be, else but Hawkeye. You'd have to. But then if it's Hawkeye, it would kind of maybe feel like it's not a, a quote unquote main character. I know what you mean. So, maybe Nick Fury's a scroll. Maybe. Maybe it, this is him dropping some, some knowledge on us. Like, I'm not even in these films, but I actually totally is all the time. But, yeah, I'm not in them because my scroll form is revealed. And so I'm CGI. Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. So, maybe I've that's the thing. these motherfucking scrolls on this motherfucking planet. There you go. There you fucking go. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of what's been happening in Marvel this week. We've got some nice positive things with Defenders coming out on Netflix. Some nice positive things with <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, the international, international trailer. trailer. And then Sam is kind of having a little bit of banter, but maybe kind of having a little bit of a bitch. But I think it's probably kind of storylined. I think it's kayfabe, so to speak, and that's basically the, 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 the term that wrestlers use when it's kind of... Uh, it's part of the business yes. but you guys aren't meant to know Yeah. and then you've got DC and everything's fucking falling apart and imploding yep. as usual so yay but on the surface all the all, all the regular folks know is that there was a new trailer for Thor that's it that's all they know uh, yeah, that's you know much. and then we've got a few other tidbits of movie news we want to go through just real quick like no if you want to do headlines only <laughs> um, well okay Oh, you want to do a second movie news? Nah, fuck that. Um, I'm just going to <laughs> drop it that Ron Howard teases that the the Death Star might be in the new young Han Solo movie. How do you feel about that? Just real quick. I know you're not a big Star Wars guy. They're, they're sort of very, very fixated on this Death Star, are they not? Well, it makes sense because... The, it makes sense in a way because the Death Star would be... Was built prior to... Well, was prior built... Prior to episode four. Prior to episode four, and it was being built originally in the end of episode three. Yeah. So Rogue One happens just prior to episode four, and Han Solo happens before Rogue One. So the Death Star will be around, 
So you just give it a wee nod and pat, but you can't pub Han Solo see it because he's meant to be surprised when he sees it mm-hmm. in episode four. Yeah. So hopefully Ron Howard is aware of that, but I think he will be. Oh, he'll be surrounded by all the, the Trekkies and all the fans who are massive, massive fans of the franchise. I can't believe you did it again. <laughs> anyway, and the last piece of movie news before I ask you a quick question on this. Hopefully you know about this. Nope. Nope. Oh, oh I thought you that. would. Um, but I've got guesses, but so apparently Daniel Craig has confirmed that he will be back for Bond twenty five. Do you give a fuck? No. <laughs> right. Cool. <laughs> we talked about it four weeks ago or three weeks ago or something as well. Yeah, we did, and I feel the same about it. Like Daniel Craig, for me, Casino Royale is the best Bond film. Yes, and it can't be uh, talked. Yeah, yeah. I never saw. I watched Quantum Sauce. It sucked the donkey dicks. I never watched the other one that's just meant to be good called Skyfall. I've never seen it. I watched Spectre. It was awful. I basically went to see Batista in it. <laughs> that was it. You're right. Merd. <laughs> and um, I haven't seen it. Ah, you don't don't just don't. It's a bad film. It's not only a bad Bond film. Daniel Craig didn't want to be there. It's just a bad, bad film. So him coming back for the 25th one, I'm like, ugh, I just don't give a shit. Like, I'm not going to go see it. Um, now, if Idris Elba was it, or someone, some other actor that I, I was kind of into, mm-hmm. yeah, I'd go see that. But also, apparently, he's known for like three months. So the last three months when he's been kind of like... Just oh, sitting on it, bro. Sitting on it, he's been just mugging us off <laughs> anyway the last thing is a little bit about comic books and I want to know if you knew anything about this but maybe you don't because nice. I don't know nothing about it either but apparently it's the big new arc for DC which is um, Batman Dark Knight Metal yeah so basically what they're saying is it's a combination of everything we did on Batman plus 10 that's coming from the writer Scott Snyder it's a co- combination of what? of everything we did on Batman Plus 10. So they're ramping 10. it up. And uh, just ramping everything right up, basically. what this The premise of the story is it's the story of the first detective case that Batman doesn't want to solve because the answer is too frightening for even in the, the Dark Knight to want to uncover. Ooh, uh, interesting. So, Well, this is the big new comic book that's coming out. And um, because it's it's the start of something... I feel like almost I might get into it. Yeah, it actually sounds pretty good. It's where the Justice League discovers that there's a dark multiverse. Um, and the Dark Knights are... They seem to be like quite a scary-looking fucking team. Oh, wow. Night- nightmarish almost team. There's like a Dark Knight, Batman, Flash, Cyborg. Who's that meant to be? Is that like Doomsday or some shit? Yeah, Doomsday or Solomon Grundy or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Aris, maybe. Yeah. Um, Looks freaking badass. I'm not sure, but they're all kind of fashioned in the style of Batman. Mm-hmm. So that I need to read up on that. Well, the same way the new, the new Marvel one is that everyone's like based on Venom, right? Yeah, and there's a Dark Knight uh, Lantern as well. So uh, this sounds interesting. It does sound interesting, doesn't it? Yeah. I think I might get into it. So, yeah, folks, if you like movies right now, well, do you know what? You probably like comic books. Yeah. So you want to get yourself into a comic book store, and I think that this Dark Knight Metal is going to be sweet. The imagery looks beautiful. Yeah, that looks <coughs> like It's the artwork cool. that I like. Yeah. But occasionally I pick up something and I'm like, this looks just... This looks shitty, you Uncanny know? X-Men was bad for that. What, inconsistency? Uh, uncanny. Uh, it was, uh, the artwork, I can't remember who it was. But there was someone, and it was basically like almost. It wasn't uh, saying uncanny X Men is. Uh, That's a bit harsh. That was like it, it, it's too like, broad. Like, as in, like the whole no, late eighties, early nineties. Post AVX, basically when uh, Cyclops has got his own team. Uh, you have to show me a picture. Yeah, or... I will. I'll find what? something. But basically, what they look like is impressionist people with faces stamped on. It's really, really annoying. Um. Old Man Logan can get bad for it at times and you don't know what's going on because it's just almost like brush strokes rather than solid drawings. I was looking at some comic books this weekend. There was one X-Men one. I think it was it was Deadpool and Wolverine. And Wolverine is like a clone or some bullshit and he was trying to fight with... Who's, who's, who's the girl of Wolverine? 
X-23. Yeah, yeah, he was trying to fight with her. And the artwork was just shit. Mm -hmm. But at least it wasn't that fake-ass manga attempts that they did for a while. Yeah. Because I didn't like that. And I also didn't like... There were some Spider-Man ones in the 90s where they almost were just like... It was just all black with like the slight hint of a face and a shape. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you can't see anything. And then the next part of the arc, it's like vibrant and bright colours and Rob Layfield. Layfield? Either are. Yeah, Rob Layfield. Like I, I, that's the sort of style I liked. I know you hate it, but I like I like pouches. I like giant guns. I like no feet. <laughs> that's what I like in my arm. Big disproportionate chests. Giant chests and arms. The important stuff, you know. Yeah. You can't find a picture, can no, you? No, I can't. It's we'll, we'll maybe talk about that a little bit next week, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's about all we've got time for, folks. That is, yeah. No, I can't find. What you what can't find it. So, just a little re- little recap. What did you guys think about what Casey Affleck said? Is he actually privy to some knowledge? Did he try and make a joke and shh, that's a nice picture. Yeah. Um, did he try and make a joke and it didn't work? Or what's going on there? The fact that Ben Affleck's team say he'll be Batman for as long as they let him be Batman. Yes, Does that? That's, uh... Did that make you feel comfortable anyway? That makes me feel less comfortable. Yeah. Like, that's shit. Is Justice League going to be unwatchable? I don't think so, but is it going to mesh really well? That would be quite interesting. Mm-hmm. And it would be, co- be really cool to see the original cut. Compa- yeah, that will probably be a Blu-ray feature. Can you imagine that? Yeah, Watching be- like an absolutely different film, just dark as shit. And, like... It would be good because the footage will be out there. Yeah. You know, it's the X-Files, the truth is out there. Whether the- you want to see it or not is completely different story. Completely different. Are you psyched for Thor Ragnarok? Do you care about his haircut? Do you care that the Hulk now looks handsome? He does look, and he looks better as well. They eh? handsome, they handsomed him up a little yes. bit. Is that? I don't know. If He's been enhanced. Enhanced, yes. Is Samuel L. Jackson dropping some hints? Is he just having some banner? Is he having an actual bitch? Uh, is he just upset? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Are you excited for Defenders? Are you going to binge watch it? I believe Steve is definitely binge watching it this weekend. He's watching it right now and listening to us. Because he's so fucking efficient. He's the man in the chair. Yes, he's Overwatch. Yeah. Um. Do you care that Daniel Craig's back as Bond? And what do you think about the fact that the Death Star will be in the Young Han Solo movie? Oh, and send some love to Tom Cruise if you can. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of love for Tom Cruise. Mm. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Anyway, folks, <laughs> where where can the kids find you? You can find us all on the, the Buff Geek Podcast blog dot wordpress dot com. You'll also find me at dstoby on most places, or you'll find us at the Buff Geek Podcast on Twitter now as well. Yes, you will, and you can if you forget that, just type in the Buff Geek or the Buff Geek Podcast. You're going to find it anywhere on all social media: Instagram, LinkedIn, the whole thing, every goddamn place, even Google, even Google. I yeah. Think so. Um. I want to thank our sponsor, Alpha Fitness. Yep, thank away. Thank away, I am. I am indeed. If you're looking to lose some weight, build some muscle, maybe you want to put on some weight, contact them for training and nutritional advices. There'll be some um, articles going on the website eminently. Yes. Yes, I will read it in the morning. You'll proofread, you'll proofread what I wrote, basically. Three days ago. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, man. That's okay. I am... I, um, I just hope it makes English sense. Me too. I hope I can make English sense now. As long as, as, long as you can make English sense of it. Yes. Anyway, we'll catch you all soon. Hashtag the Buff Geek Podcast. Is that breaking news? I don't know. I'm just making this up.